everybody and in this video you guys are gonna be watching some crimson doubles gameplay so you can get a look at what the game mode is actually like although this gameplay isn't a very true representation of it because they are good games but i'll get into that in a minute but i'm also gonna be just talking about how i feel about the loot how i feel about the game mode the quests and all of that stuff so essentially it's a complete review of crimson days and the crimson doubles game type so first things first let's talk about the loot. The loot that you're going to be able to get from Crimson Day's event is two ghosts, two shaders, and an emblem. The emblem you can get through completing the quest that you pick up from Lord Shax. You get the ghosts and the shaders as complete random drops, but so far me and Ian actually were able to get both of the shaders ourselves, so maybe it's not too hard to come by. I have not seen either of us get a ghost though. I know it's a thing, but neither me or Ian have come across one just yet. I think the shaders look super good. They have a really awesome pattern on them, so I like that very much. The ghost shells from the pictures that I've seen because I'm not a lucky person in RNG <laughs> But from the pictures they look super good and the emblem is eh, It's it's a good emblem, but it's nothing crazy and I really like the loot that they have done I think that the shaders and the ghosts look super good But I would have loved if they added class items and a ship because in Iron Banner Cosmetic wise, of course you have weapons that you can get, but cosmetically you can get a ship, you get shaders, you can get a ghost, you can get a class item. Now I would have really, really loved that for Crimson Days because it would have been super cool if you had like a heart cape so I could actually match the shaders. Bungie, please let us dye our capes. It needs to be a thing. But it would have been really cool just to have a heart Valentine's Day themed cape. Maybe even a chocolate cape. I don't know. And it would have been nice to have a super cheesy red heart kind of ship. Maybe it could have been heart shaped sort of. I think that would have been really cool. It would have kept people playing for a little bit longer, but in terms of what they've actually put in the game, I think it looks good. I just wish there was a little bit more for us to actually try and read within the week that Crimson Days is around. Moving on to the actual game mode itself, Doubles Elimination. I think Doubles Elimination works perfectly fine as a game mode. It's basically just 2v2 instead of 3v3 when it comes for regular elimination. So I think that the game mode works really good. I think that the buff, the animation on the buff, first of all, looks amazing. <laughs> like, it really does. They did a very, very, very good job with the actual animations of the buff. It looks super cool. Now, if you don't know what this buff does, basically, if you are playing Crimson Doubles with your partner and your partner goes down, you get a buff called Broken Hearted. And what this is going to do is it's going to max out everything. It's going to make you run faster, reload faster, regen health faster. The health regen is absolutely insane. It is ridiculous. The health regen is next level health regen. So I think the game mode itself is really, really good. I think that it works perfectly fine. My only issue with the game mode is that light levels are not enabled because the issue that you will find when you go into crimson doubles there's gonna be people using icebreaker after they use icebreaker they're gonna switch to probably thorn and then a legendary secondary now i'm not super salty about that stuff if that's what people want to do then that's fine but with the special ammo changes the fact that we don't actually spawn with any special ammo now people are just finding ways to cheese around it and of course people are gonna do that you can't really blame people for doing that it's up to the designers to make sure that people can't do that and i think that it's just a really big shame that they bought in this special ammo chain so you actually actually have to have 1v1 gunfight engagements instead of just getting picked off right at the beginning of a round for it to just be completely ruined by people using Icebreaker. And I know that if they didn't use Icebreaker, they could just use a sidearm, kill themselves, switch weapons, and come back. But that is a lot more work than just simply using Icebreaker. And I think that a good amount of people would probably try the whole sidearm thing, but they will have longer rest timers that actually have to have some time to do this. So I don't think it would be as bad as using Icebreaker because that just completely negates the special ammo changes, which I think is a huge shame. And if light levels were enabled for this week-long event, just like they are in Iron Banner, then people wouldn't be using Icebreaker. They will, of course, try and find the cheese, 
but they won't be using Icebreaker. Either that or I would have loved for them to have come out with something to where you cannot change your loadout. The loadout that you go in with is the loadout with, that you stay with when it comes to elimination. I think that would have been that would have been good. So that's my only problem. I think the event could have been a lot better. I think the game mode could have been a lot better if light levels were enabled. Because as it is right now, we're just fighting against a bunch of thorns and icebreakers, which can cause for some very frustrating and annoying games when you just want to have a 1v1 primary gunfight. <laughs> now moving on from that, because that, that was slightly disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping that light levels were going to be enabled because I knew this was gonna happen but I don't want to complain to you guys it's cool it's cool it's fine I can deal with it <laughs> now moving on to the bounties and the quest chain for Crimson Days the bounties are super interesting because you can complete them as a fire team you have to get points or assists or headshots or kills with a specific weapon type as a team so you can just complete this through time you don't need to be amazing or anything like that you can complete all of these bounties just by playing now when you complete them you get a legendary item and with that legendary item it's just an engram it's not anything crazy you're just gonna be getting a legendary engram which i think a lot of people were disappointed about as well because i was kind of hoping that maybe it was a chance at a ghost shell or you know something <laughs> or maybe even just a guaranteed 320 ghost because that's how bungie has been giving us loot recently is like guaranteed 320 stuff but it is just a legendary engram but of course if you are newer to destiny getting that many legendary engrams just handed to you could actually be a really good thing now the quest line is also super easy to do it's just one quest you finish it and you get an emblem so it's really good if you just want to pick up some loot do I think that it's gonna keep people playing for an entire week just grinding it for the loot I don't think so I think you're gonna play doubles if you really enjoy it and honestly it is a good game mode it's fun it's a lot of fun so I would say that it's definitely worth jumping into Crimson Doubles to at least get the shaders. At least get the shaders because the pattern on those things is beautiful. <laughs> so that's going to pretty much do it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about Crimson Days and Crimson Doubles. And I'll speak to you awesome people later. Bye.